I have been meaning to make a video about Esther Roll for quite a while now. And since it's the anniversary of her birthday today, it feels like it's the right time to take a quick look back at the career of this talented lady. I remember Esther best from the classic 70s TV series Good Times. That show was really something of an anomaly back in the 70s. On the show you had a black family completely intact and trying to support each other the very best they could. Originally, the writers and Norman Lear himself wanted Florida Evans to be a mother raising her three kids on her own. But Esther, she put her foot down and demanded that John Amos, the actor who had appeared as her husband on Maude, be an integral part of the show as well. And you know what? It worked. Esther and John had great chemistry together. While I'm tempted to, I'm not going to spend much time talking about this fella today. This video is about Esther, not Jimmy Walker. Still, let me just say this, for one brief shiny moment, Jimmy Walker was about as funny and as cool as they got. But as fun as Jimmy was to watch on TV, I've got to say that Esther along with John, well they were the show's greatest strengths. I'm not trying to take anything away from any of the cast members because when you have a show as good as Good Times was, that's a good indicator that the entire cast is something special. But Esther and John, I just thought that they were really wonderful together on screen. Sadly, at the end of the third season, Norman Lear made the decision to fire John Amos. While I do think the decision was a bad one, it ultimately led to one of the most powerful moments in television history. And yes, it was all Esther Roll. Prior to Good Times, Esther's most notable work was on stage. Her New York debut was in 1962 in a play called The Blacks, and a prominent early role for her was as Miss Maybell in the 1973 Melvin Van Peebles play Don't Play Us Cheap. And after Good Times came to an end on CBS, I remember her making a ton of fun guest appearances on shows like The Incredible Hulk and The Love Boat. Looking at Esther's filmography, I think it's fair to say that Hollywood appreciated her talents and kept her busy throughout the 80s and even into the 90s. Esther passed away on November 17, 1998 in Culver City, California from complications due to diabetes just nine days after her 78th birthday. At the time of her passing, Norman Lear, the creator of Good Times, said that he had cast Esther in that television show because of her strong presence on screen. He said, wherever she was, you knew she was there. And I couldn't agree more, Norman. Okay, one last picture of the Evans family, completely intact, exactly the way that things were supposed to be. All right, now it's your turn. Please share your memories of Esther Roll in the comment section. And while you're at it, if you found this video interesting, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And what the heck, why not even subscribe to my little YouTube channel? I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.